Today on the channel, we head back to the Masters Universe cartoon collection with Skeletor and Man at Arms. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! the channel for another He-Man and the Masters of the Universe unboxing and review and today on the channel from the brand new cartoon collection we got Skeletor and we've got Man-at-Arms but for all your He-Man needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Big Bad Toy Store use the link in the description down below and of course we're gonna do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on this very YouTube channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. We always do start humans over skeletons, so Man-at-Arms getting his card pulled first here. Man-at-Arms an all-timer. Not my favorite character when I was a little kid, but as I've gotten older, Man-at-Arms has become my favorite He-Man in the Masters Universe. Good guy character. Good guy character here. And we got him in more his cartoon look. And I don't know, it's a weird dynamic with He-Man. Of course, we think of him as a cartoon, but we think of him as the toy as well. So this one is straight up from his look from the cartoon. Push, broom, and all looking only like a Duncan could look. Haven't seen a Duncan this good since uh, Duncan Donuts by my kid's school. So uh, Duncan playing all the hits right here. Really looks like he stepped out of the cartoon. Got that new packaging style. Very colorful. Similar but different. That's what we're going to call this one here. But looking really nice. 80s Adventures. It says at the top, He-Man and the Masters Universe. Man-at-Arms, the heroic master of weapons. And then you got that Filmation-inspired cartoon collection logo down here usual packaging design on the back looking pretty good let's read and see what's going on back here a little artwork action at the top as seen on the dragon invasion nobody likes a dragon invasion and even more people don't like a dragon attack like a young queen out there modernizing celebrating the original 80s master universe animated series includes comic book uh, includes a stasis ray as well that he used to fight that dragon with twist into powerful battle positions of course check out the he-man and beast man unboxings we unboxed them on the channel already this is the rest of the wave right here but without further ado let's see what old man at arms is up to what's he up to no good good hopefully all good we'll see what happens there we go there it is man at arms see you later goodbye and there's old man of arms right out of the plastic prison looking good looking very familiar of course we're aware of our man-at-arms. We know what we like in our men and uh, our men-at-arms. There it is. See you later. Off to the side. Goodbye. All right. We do get a little instructions here talking about what is removable, all that kind of stuff. We're used to these as well. Spider-Man style. See you later. Goodbye. We do get this comic book here, and it's a different comic book. It says Wizards... Wizard's Wizard, Wizard's Wizard, I think is what that says. Very interesting. Skeletor, He-Man, looking good here. Nice little comic action. You got Man-at-Arms featured in here as well. Very interesting. We'll show some pictures from this, but always like these comic books. Now, last ones, we got the Mask of the Magi. We get some different ones here. So it looks like it's not the same comic book for all four like we were more accustomed to. So a little change here. It changes all right in that aspect. We're here for some more comics from uh, the Masters of the Universe gang. But let's get down to business here. Let's look at this big array gun here. Much like Beastman, he had his little like gun thing. Man-at-Arms has one of those as well, which is really on brand for a guy named Man-at-Arms, as we do know. But a silverish, bluish uh, color here on this laser ray. Very scientific looking. Uh, no movement on it, anything like that. Pretty standard. Uh, just uh, static is what this is. So it's here. I'm not really going to display. It might just uh, be on the side by him on my display. It's probably where I'll keep that. Of course, Man-at-Arms got his big old club. Very different than the club from the original action figure or the Origins line. Uh, big old ball on the end here looking nice. Of course, handle all in that orangish yellow color throughout. Just plugs right into his hands. And speaking of hands, no extra hands, no extra accessories, nothing else with this one. That is all we get. We get his little club, but very on brand, once again, for Man-at-Arms. Now we get Man-at-Arms here and looking very cartoon-like. Of course, got the green and gold attack. Huge Oakland A's fan, as we do know. He was a big fan of the 70s Oakland A's, and that's where he did adopt the facial hair, of course. Patented Duncan out there, Man-at-Arms. Beautiful push broom going on on the top. Something straight out of the 80s looking really, really good. 
All day long, somebody hands me this head. I know who this is. I know this is Man at Arms, especially with that helmet, those eyebrows. Maybe a hair light on the skin tone. Maybe it needs to be just a hair darker, but it is what it is. It looks pretty good here for Duncan. Uh, I'm here for this. Of course, a key player in the Masters universe, as we know. He-Man's right-hand man, really, and King Randor's as well. Uh, looking good with his armor. He's got his armor throughout. Of course, you got the bicep shoulder piece. You got the forearm piece. You got the big chest piece going there. Even some Terry Steinbach esque shin guard covers down here that always look really, really good. And then he's got some nice brown loafers because he likes to chill. He likes to be prepared up top. Down low, he's loafing through the house. Got his penny loafers on. Looking on brand there. Of course, one of Attorney's finest loincloths on Man at Arms. Wouldn't expect anything less out of a guy like this. Just a very good looking figure here for what it represents for what it's trying to go for the cartoon collection i think this looks pretty good right here of course his arms do go all the way around you do get the hands or hands how about the elbow side to side up and down single jointed hands back and forth side to side waist articulation of course big old splits if you do need them you do get the single jointed knees side to side as well boot cut and then ankles back and forth side to side does he fit on a ringside collectible mattel stand yes he does fits perfectly on that stand if you need him to do that of course, this armor can be removable if you really wanted to remove it for whatever reason. I don't know why you would, but you could. Uh, but it does look really good. And of course, this new body style in the Origins, uh, they can be squatty like the other Origin figures, but they also stand straight up a little bit more traditional action figure-like, I guess we'll say with this one here. Uh, but it's not the only Masters of the Universe Man-at-Arms figure we got in this kind of Origin style, of course. We got the one that uh, started it all, I guess, as the action figure game goes uh, back in the day. You got that one with no push broom. No push broom there. So that's the question of the day. Do you think of Man-at-Arms when you close your eyes in the middle of the night and you say what's man at arms up to do you think of him with a push broom a little mustache action or do you think of him clean shaven you know that's the question of the day for sure and then we got this one right here so we'll do some more comparisons throughout this video uh, with some of the glamour shots but you can kind of see how this whole section's going down between these two but a pretty good figure if you ask me i'm here for the cartoon style figures uh, giving a little breath of fresh air to the Origins line with something a little bit different with their cartoon representations. Have to imagine we're going to get all the hitters all over again like we usually do. But now we're going to turn our attention over to Skeletor, one of the most evil skeletons of all time, no doubt about it. We got the same style packaging we got with Man at Arms, classic Skeletor from the cartoon there, cartoon logo there of course, and then it does say 80s Adventures, Skeletor the Evil Lord of Destruction, and he comes with the mass of power of course, Representing back to one of the cartoon episodes, you can see some of that on there. What else did it say? Uh, as seen on Mask of Power, that is it. It doesn't have any more saying there. And then that mask does fit on there. It says, swap head with the Mask of Power. So, okay, if you tell me so, I guess I will. I guess I will. So we do get the comic book. Looks to be, yep, the identical same comic book we saw before. Packaging, see you later, goodbye. Uh, the same comic book we saw earlier. Spider-Man style, see you later. Uh, so, yeah, we get doubles up on that one there. And there it is, Skeletor, looking only like a Skeletor could look in the plastic prison. No twist ties, anything like that. I'm here for that all day. I'm here. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it, like a young McDonald's. See you later. Goodbye. All right, we got a lot of accessories with the Skeletor. Get the big old Havoc staff, looking only like a Havoc staff could look if it was straight out of the cartoons. Kind of a bluish, uh, bluish color, a bluish gray, I guess, at the top against the beautiful purple staff here. And then you got the purple matching sword. Very on brand for Skeletor, as we do know. And then we get these two heads. Unbelievable. They actually peg in. So you remove Skeletor's head, you pug, peg these in in his place. Not sure anybody's going to use these Lost Cities of Gold heads uh, from back in the day. Shout out to the mysterious Lost Cities of Gold. What an all-timer of a cartoon. I'm here for that. Uh, I'm, all, I'm all in on uh, Esteban and his adventures. So give me an Esteban toy line. I'm here for that. But looking very cool, looking awesome here. But really, extra heads is what this is. So that's intriguing, if you ask me. But Skeletor, of course, the main event. And looking like Skeletor from the cartoon. Not quite as dark and evil as maybe some of his other toy counterparts. Uh, but definitely, you know this is Skeletor. If somebody hands you this, who is it? Skeletor all day long. Got the big old hood over the skeleton face. Very interesting uh, face there. Not as... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess it's a pale yellow color on his face. Usually it's a little bit more greenish yellow, maybe, is what we'll call it. But yeah, definitely a yellow one, but all day long looks like a skeleton in the face department. Got the iconic Skeletor vest and shoulder pads. The iconic blue Smurf-like, 
I don't know, skin? I don't know. What, what has he got going on? Skin? It's not a skeleton. It's a skin. I don't know. He's got the blue color going against the purple, of course. Purple boots, a nice black loincloth as well. Going to be the identical articulation that we saw with Man-at-Arms. That makes a lot of sense on that. I'm going to pull this head off, and I'm going to pop one of these on and see what's going on here. I mean, it just looks strange. I mean, who's going to display this? I don't know. I like that they give us stuff like this, but... How do I display this? Do, is anybody going to display this with anybody but Skeletor's head? I, that's a, a little bit of a head scratcher. And we do know this Skeletor is being released as a Mattel Creations exclusive. Is it something like Gary V collection or something? I don't even know what that is. Uh, but there's something similar to that. And you come up with a little Skeletor thing. Whatever that is, that's coming out later, and it's very similar to this. I think we get extra head sculpts with that one. So once again, you can kind of circle the wagons and go around and mix your heads around. But... I don't know. I like what this represents. I just don't understand why I would ever display these. Uh, it's not like it's an all-time episode that I never forget. Oh, I'll never forget that episode. I was just intrigued with that mask. I don't know. It's just a, a weird dynamic, but it's a nice inclusion. It's something different. Maybe we can figure out a different use for it in the future. We'll see what happens there. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? What do you know? Fits perfectly right there. And I wanted to grab something different out is I really do like this one from the Origins. This is probably my favorite version of Skeletor from the Origins line. It's that Keldor exclusive with the extra head. Of course, a cape adds a lot of good features to a figure, as we see here. But I really do like that one. And of course, might as well grab Beast Man here. His cohort, his support system is Beast Man. Everybody needs a hairy bipedal creature by their side. I got two by my feet right now in Ace and Lemmy. Uh, shout out to hairy bipedal creatures all day long. I guess Ace and Lemmy, not so bipedal. Sometimes, though, when they want to treat, they'll go bipedal for a little bit. They will. I'll, I'll get a video of it. How about that? Uh, but looking good. Beast Man looks good. Skeletor looks good. He-Man, which I got right here. I should have brought him out earlier. He-Man looks really good in this line. And Man-at-Arms looks really good in this line. So a fun line right here. It is the beginnings of the line. I know the cartoon very iconic to a lot of people. Now's your chance to get in at the ground floor of this line. And one of the all-time great toy collections of all time is He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. And a new one is really just beginning. So a perfect time to jump in if you've been on the fence. So there it is. The cartoon collection rides again. Anxiously awaiting part two of the cartoon collection. Of course, we know all about some of the stuff that's coming. But we're not sure when it's coming. That's always the fun part, I guess. But you know what Tom Petty says. The waiting... The hardest part. Of course it is. We all know it. So there it is, though. Man-at-Arms, of course, an all-timer with Push Broom and Skeletor with extra mass. What do you guys think? You in on this cartoon collection? You passing on this cartoon collection? You unsure on this cartoon collection? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And, of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. we got videos every single day. And, of course, early access to videos like this on Patreon. Early access from both YouTube channels over on Patreon. Your best way to support the channel. You can also follow along on social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Threads. And on Instagram. So for the man at arms and Skeletor, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.